All right, so this video is on how do I load in a audio file into 3ds Max for things like facial animation, right? If I'm working on some lip sync stuff, uh, it's obviously good to have your audio in your scene so that way you can animate your character to that audio, right? You never want to animate your character first, then try and lay audio over top of that. That is never going to work. So how do we load this in? Uh, first things first, your file must be a WAV file or a waveform file. Again, if it's an MP3, you will have to convert that to a waveform. I typically use Premiere Pro to do this. Uh, but that's because I have it available to me. Um, there are different websites online that you can do it for free. It's very, very easy. Uh, but again, it has to be a waveform file in order for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead here and just simply right click anywhere inside my open viewport. And we need to access our dope sheet here. Again, we're going through the dope sheet. So we're not actually doing anything in the dope sheet. We're just simply using this almost like as a portal into what's going to be called ProSound. So ProSound is just simply the sound package inside 3ds Max. In order for me to access it inside the dope sheet, I'm simply looking for sound in the top left hand corner of all these different channels here that are available to us. I'm just simply double clicking on the word sound and that's going to open up our ProSound window. So so in here, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to actually add in the audio file. So I'm simply clicking on the button here that says add, and I'm going to locate that audio file. So I'm just going to simply go here real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so I'm looking for my audio. I have found it. So hi, how are you? Underscore audio. I'm then going to hit open. Once I hit open, I can see uh, I've got that audio file loaded in here. I can see it loaded up uh, inside my input files. And then I also can preview it, right? So I'm simply going to go ahead and click on this. I'm not sure if the video can actually hear that, um, but the audio is actually loaded inside my scene. Uh, once I have it loaded inside my scene, typically what I do to test this out, uh, just to make sure it's actually going to work inside the scene, is I first buffer along my timeline. Right? And I just want to make sure I can hear that, which I can hear it. Again, I'm not sure if the video is going to be picking up that audio. Um, I also want to make sure that if I press play, I can also hear the audio. Now, there's going to be cases where you can't. So right now, I can't actually hear the audio when I press play. Um, I found a very handy fix for that is actually just simply toggling the audio quality inside the playback settings within ProSound. So it's literally as simple as simply clicking on medium here, putting it to high, and then putting it back to medium. Then I'm going to press play, and I can now hear my audio.